Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Okay, so we have looked into the general perturbation theory and evaluated the Langrange bracket and then we got the uh, Langrange planetary equation. So, uh, in that case, uh, the perturbing potential was given which we have written as R. Now, we consider the case where the instead of perturbing potential, it is the perturbing force is given. So, this will be much more generalized because uh, if you have the uh, drag and other cases where the potential is not available. So, in that case you can utilize this equation. Okay. So, let us start with and So, whatever the green one is shown here uh, with green line, this is our orbit okay. and projection of this orbit is shown by dotted line in the x y plane, x y z is the inertial plane which we are using and uh, as you remember that we have written um, the orbit in terms of r we have written in terms of xi p cap and eta q cap. So, this way we were just working with two terms uh, xi and eta. Okay. So, in the plane of the orbit. Now, if we consider the vectors u r cap, u theta cap and u a cap, we are u r cross u theta cap this equal to u a cap ok unit these are the unit vectors u theta cap and u r cap they, they have their usual definition and they lie in the plane of the orbit r direction and per, this is the r direction and perpendicular to this this is the theta direction. And here S is the corresponding satellite. This is capital Omega, small Omega. Uh, no, small Omega will. Uh, what we are doing that uh, once we describe it in this way, that uh, uh, see the we are looking into the orbit here in this way. So along the periapsis, we have the p cap and 
xi is along this direction, eta is along this direction and q cap is the unit vector along this direction. The same thing is appearing here. So, this point we can write as p maybe p we can write here. This is the periapsis uh, position and uh, then from here to here of course, then this becomes theta. So, with all these informations the Langrange planetary equation we have written we now we want to express in terms of the force. So, what are those forces? So, this f we can write as f r times u r cap component of the force along the u r direction then f theta times u theta cap and then f a times u a cap where u a cap is perpendicular to the orbit which is shown here in this place. So, this is perpendicular to the orbit. Now, we have to work out this particular one. So, the f is this is the perturbing force. So, what we are interested in? So, objective is to reduce the Langrange planetary equation in terms of f r, f theta and f a. So, that implies that the terms like dou r by dou a, dou r by dou e we need to replace in terms of f r, f theta and f a. So, instead of writing this uh, as minus dou u minus dou r, we are writing here in this way. So, f is the force acting on the satellite or maybe the any heavenly body for which we have written the uh, this equation. So, in the case of aerodynamic drag or other non conservative forces we can use it. Okay, this we have done earlier by expanding it you can immediately check that this quantity will be dou r by dou c j. So, this quantity then dou r by is nothing but your f. So, this comes with a minus sign f dot dou r by dou c j. This simply implies that in the Langrange planetary equation wherever this term on the right hand side dou r by dou c j is appearing. Okay. So, this you need to replace in terms of minus f this is a vector dot dou r by dou c j. So, once you do this, so this will get converted in terms of f r, f theta and f a. Okay. This is what our objective is. Where r i has been written as minus g times j equal to 2 to n j not equal to y from the orbital geometry we can write the expression for u r cap, u theta cap and u a cap. It is a very easy say if I use the rotation matrix of, uh, 
and again explaining all these things uh, we don't have much time in this course because already what i used to cover in 45 lectures we are reduced to 30 lectures so it's a much more compressed so uh, what i will suggest that for the uh, if you want to use this matrix method for uh, transferring uh, or finding out this ur cap and other things you just go into uh, the space uh, this uh, satellite attitude control and dynamics course on mooks or the nptel and I look into that in the first few uh, 10 lectures all those things have been explained so using this you can immediately get to uh, this point so i will simply write uh, all these terms so what here we are trying to do that ur cap so in this direction you have to write in terms of i cap here uh, j cap the unit vector and in this direction k cap so in terms of these unit vectors you have to describe the vector ur cap then u theta cap and u a cap okay and uh, this is easy uh, which i am not going to do here you can do this as an exercise uh, what you are supposed to do that convert this i to this ur vector and for this what you need to do that you have to th think of okay so uh, i will uh, just give you some hints for doing this say i is a vector whose component you require along this direction okay so i can write this i vector as i cap 0 0 and then this i need to convert uh, into the this uh, p frame and the in terms of the what we have written here the ur and uh, sorry this uh, ur cap u theta cap and uh, this ua cap here it is ua cap so there are many ways of doing this you can take component along this direction the first component of i you can take along this direction okay then this component can be broken along the ur direction okay so from here to because they are in not in the same plane so we have to do sequentially otherwise the rotation matrix if you have to use so you have to first rotate about this z axis by capital omega and so on so this concept is explained in that uh, satellite attitude dynamics course so there you can go and look into that so here i am writing the final result cos cos capital omega cos u where u equal to omega small omega plus theta so true anomaly plus uh, argument of perigee time psi cap so you have a vector here which you can represent as i cap j cap k cap and this vector then you are expressing as uh, which is operated on by certain rotations here so as you can see from here the capital omega is appearing i is appearing for some of the vectors you will require uh, working with that so how, how those vectors see uh, how if you can from i j k by how many rotation you can reach to this place okay so this is the question so for that you have to give all the proper rotations which will be indicated here and then on the left hand side you will have the u r cap u uh, u the uh, then the u theta cap and u uh, u a cap these are the three things we are looking for 
So, for that you require proper sequencing and other things. So, look into this concept, uh, this will be very useful for you uh, for working out this kind of thing. It, it takes little shorter time to work out this concept. Cos capital omega sin u cos capital omega So, I will give you some hints about this, what exactly we have done here in this place. Say, so this is your x and y axis and then this is the capital omega okay. and then you are going to the orbit. In which plane, in that plane then you are measuring uh, Mm, this uh, small omega and uh, theta and which you have added together to get this u. So, here you have the i cap. So, first you take the component of this along this nodal line. This is O and here n. So, this will be i cap cos capital omega okay. and the r vector is located somewhere here. So, this is your u r cap. Okay and the angle from this place to this place this is u which is nothing but omega plus theta and then you will be taking it this component l the component of this vector along this direction. So, component of this then becomes i cos capital omega times cos u. So, this is the term which is appearing here. Thereafter because this i component you are taking here in this place. Okay. Now, uh, this can be broken along uh, one component, component of i is here. So, another component will be perpendicular to this, perpendicular to this o n and here on the opposite side then as we have done in the orbit uh, parameter estimation problem. If you go on the opposite side, so here this will come as minus i. So, here this will be i sin capital omega. So, here on this side it will come as minus i cap sin capital omega sin capital omega ok. And thereafter then we need to, so this is making 90 degree with this ok. See here uh, with this line this is making this is 90 degree ok. So, this component we need to take in the orbit. this is our orbit and this is your i cap. So, i cap then you are breaking along this direction and breaking perpendicular to here it is appearing little more skewed. So, I will make it little better look better. See this is the i cap and this is j cap and here this is k cap. So, this angle is your capital omega. So, this i cap here 
this will break along two directions one along this nodal line n and another perpendicular to this which is so th this component we are writing as i cap cos capital omega and here i cap sin capital omega and on this side this will be going somewhere here and this component will be minus i sin capital omega and thereafter uh, this is cap okay remember this is not the angle of inclination thereafter we need to take a projection of this in the orbit okay so orbit is going up so here this orbit is then by i angle okay so this angle is i from here to here this angle is i so then we need to multiply it by cos i okay now here look here in this place this orbit r is located here in this place okay so u r is here so you have got the this component already we have got here in this place uh, already we have written the component which is appearing okay then this part is written here this part is here this total angle is omega plus theta so if we subtract 90 degree so this angle from this place to this place this angle will be omega plus theta minus 90 degree so you need to take then component of this along this direction okay so if i take this component along the ur direction so this will be minus i cap sin capital omega cos i and then cos omega plus theta minus 90 degree cos omega plus theta minus 90 degree so that makes it minus i cap sin capital omega cos i and this becomes sin u isn't it the with the same thing appearing here cos i sin capital omega so this way the component of i has been taken along the ur direction and the same way you can do for the j and then the k so this ur is completed the same exercise you have to do for the theta and for the a also so this way you will be able to um, get this ur u theta and u a component because i have already done uh, numerous times uh, in the uh, uh, orbit problem so i need not repeat the same thing again and again but a better way of doing the same thing is using the matrix rotation this is much simpler than doing it this way what i am showing it here but for that you need to know the rotation matrix how it's represented and other things which i have not done of course here in this course we require terms like do r by do cj the terms the term which is present here we are j will vary over 1 to 6 3 4 and 6 this corresponds to a e i not necessarily in the same sequence small omega capital omega t or either sigma okay so th these are the six terms we have to get here in this place so this we need to work out so if we use choose j to be cj to be a so then we need to work out this quantity in order to complete uh, this particular term finding out do r by do cj if we can express but this we need to find out
because p derivative is not with uh, for the p cap and q cap because they are the fixed vectors in the plane of the orbit in the plane of the oscillating orbit. So, dou eta by dou a and already we have written that this quantity is r sin theta. So, from here we can see that this quantity will be r sin theta by Similarly, we have j equal to a times and this equal to r cos theta therefore, dou r by dou a which is here we can write using uh, these two information here r cos theta uh, r sin theta here we have r sin theta here in this place. So, r sin theta divided by a times q cap. Now, p cap q cap this already we know as earlier we have derived it. Okay. So, we, if we insert that, so our job will be done. So, therefore, dou r by dou a So, we want to express this in terms of u r and u theta. So, immediately we can see from this place uh, this kind of exercise numerous, numerous times we have done. So, again repeating this is your u r vector. So, along this what the component will be. So, from here to here angle is theta u r to p cap the angle between the vector u r o and p cap this is theta and therefore, p cap will become u r cap cos theta okay. and then the other part we have to take into account which is u cap u uh, r cap cos theta and then going to this place u theta is here. So, this is turning from the u r cap by 90 degree this angle is 90 degree as I am showing here this angle is 90 degree okay, as shown by this okay. and therefore, this is uh, cos 90 plus theta it is a component and this gets reduced to u r cap cos theta minus so, this is p cap which is expressed in terms of u r and u theta. These are already expressed in terms of u r, u theta and u cap, u a cap obviously, because with the vectors we are taking which the p cap and q cap they are in the plane of the orbit. So, u a will not manifest in that u a cap. Similarly, q cap you can check it this will be u r cap sin theta plus u cap theta cos theta and now insert these two here in this expression and thereafter we solve it. Okay, so, uh, we will write it here itself.
and this is the dot product and then from here r cos theta divided by a times u r cap cos theta minus u theta cap sin theta okay, which becomes p cap and plus r sin theta by a and then u r cap sin theta plus u theta cap cos theta. Okay. So, with this once we simplify it taking the dot product obviously, uh, only the dot product will exist with itself with other it will be perpendicular and therefore, they will vanish. So, this gets reduced to minus f r by f r uh, this equal to minus f r r by a. So, dou r by dou a this has the value minus f r r by a. Using the same technique uh, we can derive for the others. So, in the next class I will do for one more that means, I will work for dou r by dou a. Uh, once you understand uh, what we are doing with uh, uh, this is little more complicated finding dou r by dou a. So, from there you, it will this concept will become uh, you will be able to grasp this concept much better uh, what exactly we are doing. So, we stop here and uh, we will continue in the next class. Thank you.